guys, it's Gus, and today we're going to be working on or checking out the SCX24 6x6 uh, tow rig, or recovery rig, I should say. Um, this was going to be a build uh, series part two, but I kind of lost the footage, so I'm going to show you uh, what I did, and uh, yeah, that's what it's going to be. Um, so let's get into it. As of right now, um, it is just running off of the stock uh, motor and um, ESC uh, receiver combo and the stock radio because these are th uh, three channel. I had originally was going to use a stock servo for the winch um, and uh, not quite good enough. Um, I think it would have worked. I uh, The first one I burnt out a winch controller, I just tore the guts out and wired it direct to a winch controller. And I don't know if it was too much amperage for the motor or amperage voltage, um, but uh, it didn't like it. So what I ended up doing was going with a Reefs Micro 99 uh, servo winch in there. And so far um, I've played around with it some and it's been working great. Um, the boom is made out of a um, Viterra Ascender cage um, and this is actually the front link for the three link on the, the uh, suspension off of one of these body still hinges yet and then for the body just used some fiberglass tape and use that to glue it together and then I put some uh, plastic rod on the inside and screwed that on to uh, help stiffen it up a little bit and if you watched the other video I extended the frame made a pass-through axle I will put a link for the, the other video if you want to see how I made the pass-through axle um, and this is probably all temporary and this one is not mine. I actually built it for somebody. Um, probably put a Furtec or some kind of different system in it, but this is uh, this is what's in it for now. Um, but yeah, I just cut the body, put it together. Um, and then this, the initial six by six, I actually did like two years ago. And then I'm finally getting back to it here and putting the, um, for a while I had a heck of a time trying to get uh, the winch controller and a lot of that stuff comes from China and it took me nine months just about to get two of them so that was part of the issue now let's see if I can do this one-handed here Switch over here. Have it mark. Hit that switch, and that runs that. And then these actually have a our preset up for a winch, of course. So just you know, hook it right up, and away you go. Yeah, I did weld the frame together. Um, I fabricated some pieces for the back. Uh, for our center link, the top links I did make. But yeah, it's not too bad. And again, I'll put the link up and uh, you guys can check out the other part of the build. But yeah, I uh, kind of was sitting on this one for a while. Um, but the guy was going that I built this for was going to take it to USTE, and there were some circumstances where that's no longer possible. But it's uh, ready to go. Oh, and then I forgot I did put some. Uh, 
uh, brass here in the uh, front to help compensate for the weight of the winch in the back. Look here, you can see how all the drive works on there, just like a regular. yeah that's all I'm gonna put in this video uh, sorry I put I lost the video I would like to have the, the build in there um, like uh, for making the servo mount it mounts to the battery tray on the back side and then there's two screws that hold it on each side for the for the uh, that go through the um, shock tower um, it does have uh, some aluminum shocks these come with two different rate springs and I put the softest ones on there because the ones that were on it were too, way too stiff yeah I think it turned out pretty good can't complain yeah that's all we got for today thanks for watching I'll see you next time